Welcome to this celebration of the Eucharist on the 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. And we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you suffered for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bore the weight of the cross. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God and the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. And let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. You have seduced me, Lord, and I have let myself be seduced. You have overpowered me. You were the stronger. I am a daily laughing stock, everybody's butt. Each time I speak the word, I have to howl and proclaim violence, ruin, the word of the Lord has meant for me insult, derision, all day long. I used to say, I will not speak about him. I will not think of him. Then, they seem, then there seemed to be a fire in my bones, burning in my heart. The effort to restrain it wearied me. I couldn't bear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks to the God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands my soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. 
My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship him. I beg you in a way that is worthy of thinking beings, by offering your living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Do not model yourselves on the behaviour of the world around you, but let your behaviour change, modelled by your new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know what is good, what it is that God wants, what is the perfect thing to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading today is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he would be destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then? Will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? Or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with angels, and when he does, he will reward each one according to his behavior. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today's gospel introduces us to the first of Jesus' predictions that he would suffer and be put to death. In the light of what happened to John the Baptist and the prophets, Jesus would have had a growing awareness of his fate, and he would have been aware that his conflict with the authorities in Jerusalem had serious consequences. We hear Peter raise the, his personal and theological objection to the path that lay before Jesus. In response, Jesus tries to help Peter to come to terms with the mystery of how the cross would bring reconciliation and healing to a scattered world. That Jesus' death is not meaningless. It's part of God's plan, and suffering has a part to play in God's plan. In today's gospel, we heard Jesus perhaps offer the greatest challenge for today's contemporary believers. Jesus posed the question, what profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and ruin one's life? Our consumerist world constantly barrages us with messages that summon us to gain the whole world. The underlining principle is the more that we have, the happier we'll be. But Jesus makes it clear to Peter and to us, we must do two things if we wish to follow him. We must set our desires aside 
and like Jesus, put ourselves at the service of others. And we must be ready to take up the cross of suffering and adversity that comes with choosing to live our life believing that Jesus is the Christ, God's definitive act of revelation and salvation. We often think that taking up the cross is limited to situations such as serious illness or the death of a loved one. And while these situations certainly are part of taking up the cross, additionally, we are asked to take up the cross that has to do with being like Christ Jesus and choosing to be self-sacrificing while surrounded by many self-centered people. Our cross might have to do with bearing criticism and ridicule when following Jesus' example, we choose to help someone in need when everyone else in the room refuses to help the person in need. Our cross might be people laughing at us when we choose not to buy extras, but instead choose to spend our money on making sure that people have the essentials. May today's Gospel reading and today's Eucharist give us the inner strength to take up our cross, to make choices not on the basis of what is convenient, easy, and self-serving. Rather, may our choices be made on the basis of Jesus' teaching on what is right, and what is good, and what is merciful. If we suffer the cross of ridicule because our words and our actions emphasize Jesus and his teachings instead of what's popular, we're doing a good job being one of Jesus' modern-day disciples. Jesus, the suffering servant, took up his cross. He came to serve, not to be served. May we take up our cross, choose to serve, rather than always wanting to be served and follow Jesus faithfully along the way of the cross to fullness of life. And now let us recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessings God
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, who would accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now, possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, the Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the spirits and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to finish and come in my life. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And let us pray. Renewed by this bread from heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.